Walkabout Mini Golf's new course is their best one yet. It's Halloween based, it's challenging, but not too challenging. It has lost balls, it has hard mode, it just like all their courses have, it has a new putter, which unfortunately I kind of got stuck on clue 11, but that's another story. When you first enter the course, they have you in what they call God mode, where you are larger than life and you see virtually everything in the course. It's like this giant spooky dollhouse sitting in front of you. And it's really cool because you can see the little ghosts going about their business inside of there. And a cute little touch they put in there was the ghosts have the same style head that you have in walkabout mini golf. But when you're inside the course, the ghosts aren't visible. That's a great little spooky touch that they added. They also added some settings that you can toggle on and off for this course specifically. I personally left mine on, don't know why you toggle them off, but they're there for you should you need them. Just like all their courses, they have lost balls, some of which are the same basic patterns as before, but with new colors. And then there's the unique balls that you can't find on any other course. My favorite, is the Black Widow. A unique thing on this course, one of their holes has a moving hole. So while you're trying to putt into it, it literally is no longer in the place it was before. I gotta admit, that was pretty tricky. Even though this course is challenging, I managed to get not one, not two, but three holes in one somehow. I don't know how I did it. I didn't play the hard mode course all the way through yet, but they definitely have some things in there that would have kept my holes and ones from happening on the first course. Something kind of cool about the hard mode, it's in black and white. I personally don't like black and white. At first it was really neat, but then after a few minutes I was like, okay, where's my colors? But I could definitely see how some people are gonna enjoy that ambiance throughout the entire course. I did a good portion of the fox hunt. It was very enjoyable. It felt pretty smooth and easy until I got to clue 11, which by the way, if you get to clue 11, just tell me where it is. I'm stuck, put it in the comments. When you're doing the fox hunt, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually fly and walk about mini golf if you just press and hold your joystick, point, pointing your club up and press and hold your joystick up. Then you'll start to fly, but be careful. If you're one of those motion sickness people, you're definitely gonna have a little bit of trouble with that. I certainly wouldn't recommend doing it standing up, but of their Halloween or spooky themed courses, I'd say this one is my favorite. Mighty Coconut let their team all put their input on what they thought a haunted house should be. So there's a plethora of spooky references references all throughout this entire house. Everything from the dusty attic to the strange garden and the books. Oh, the books was my favorite with them coming in and out of the walls. It reminded me of so many things I've seen in media over the years. Even though Walkabout Mini Golf goes with more of a pixelated look, the graphics are amazing. The scenery is beautiful. I never can get over how good of a job they do at making these little boxy looking things look so good. The house is incredible. It has every room you could imagine except a bathroom so i'm wondering maybe that's how they died but nevertheless the house is full of all kinds of great things to look at now the individual holes themselves they're a lot of fun they're challenging like i said i somehow managed three holes in one not sure how i did that i got a great score at the end but i definitely had holes that i want to go back to the hole with the books that one was a lot harder than it looked i kept hitting the ball and it kept coming back to me, and I really didn't think that I did that bad of a job. Walkabout Mini Golf's courses are very cheap. They're only $3.99 each, so once you make the initial purchase of the game, you can buy whatever courses that you like. Most people just buy them each time that they come out. With Halloween coming in just a few days, now is the time to get this course. You will not regret it. If you've watched the video to this point, go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe. Anything you want to see in future videos, feel free to put it in the comments. And one more thing, don't forget to watch my next video. 